Let's take a big fat idea. Time for Dan Blondell, CEO of Nano One Materials, to join me on the line. Now, Dan, this is a little different this week because I know you've got an expertise in an area that I think people should be aware about. I mean, I know that Nano One, uh, you know, they target today's lithium ion batteries, a new generation of, uh, you know, the solid state batteries. But so I want to get your take on lithium ion batteries. Great. Thanks, Michael. I really appreciate you having me on the show. Uh, my big fat idea is, of course, lithium-ion batteries. Uh, maybe, first of all, they've been around for quite a long time, 25 years. They transformed the telephone. Uh, they made wireless talking possible, and they brought us, uh, the smartphone battery brought us GPS. It brought us Wi-Fi, touch screens, motion sensing, MP3 players, face recognition, and, of course, that little convenient flashlight we use late at night. But, uh, you know, the, those batteries have gone, come a long way since day one. The energy density and the cost of lithium-ion batteries has uh, has really been steadily improving, and now it's finally ready for prime time. This is this is we're at a, a transformative moment in time where uh, lithium-ion batteries are going to make up start to make a big difference, transform the automotive and energy sector, and uh, that's what uh, uh, that's what's driving Nano One. That's for sure. Well, I mean, I'm looking at changes in China, for example, and of course we're talking electric vehicles, but. Man, it's just all the time we're hearing more on this, and it seems to me that the battery side is really the key going forward. Absolutely. You know, in North America, we're, we're definitely enamored with uh, luxury electric vehicles, but uh, let's face it, in China, they're choking on smog, and they have, uh, uh, they have these aggressive subsidies in place, and they want, uh, they're looking to have 5 million electric vehicles on the road by 2020. And there's 172 automotive companies, I think, now in China, uh, two of them, BYD and BAIC, which are companies that most North Americans will never have heard of, uh, just in their EV section alone, they're bigger than Tesla already. Uh, the cost of batteries have come down tremendously, and China's aiming actually to have parity between the gas-powered cars and, uh, and their electric cars by the mid-2020s. Yeah, I would think that would be a real key, uh, you know, going forward, and we're going to get there. But what are the opportunities? Now, I'm, I'm coming back because I know, you know, uh, you with Nano One Materials obviously are looking at that side all the time, too. Yeah, you know, th- th- there's, uh, there's a lot of opportunities from blue chip right through to high risk. Uh, there's a very complex supply chain. You've got companies like Tesla and GM. Well, they buy their batteries from battery companies like Panasonic and LG. And LG buy their materials or chemicals from companies like BASF or Sumitomo Metal Mining. And at the top of the supply chain, you have materials like lithium, cobalt, nickel, graphite. They're all critical to the battery. Cobalt pricing has tripled in the last two years uh, on the back of the demand for electric vehicle batteries. So there's, uh, there's lots of opportunities there. There's miners like SQM, Abermall, Galaxy, Ganfeng. As for the new entrants, uh, there's there's lots of them. They're, they're large and small. I can't get into specific names, but uh, we should be looking for transformative technologies that give these players access to the markets we've been talking about. Let me ask you about a little bit about what you're doing though with Nano One Materials. I mean, you're also you know looking for the opportunities. Uh, just from what I know, I mean, obviously you're going to tell me, but you know, in chemistry manufacturing, it's it's all about innovation. It seems to me. Yeah, so uh, and, uh, and what Nano One is doing, it's all about the opportunity to uh, to change the way we manufacture the, the materials, that, the energy storing materials that go into lithium ion batteries mm. and bring new materials that have better properties, properties so they store more energy, they last longer, they're cheaper. Um, our technology can address markets for all the devices, be it a car, phone, or even storage on the grid, and, and we can make materials for some of the next generation batteries as well the solid state batteries that are coming they're going to be smaller denser thinner safer batteries so we're working on technology on that front as well so we're kind of agnostic whichever way the market goes of course we're trying to follow it but at the same time we're trying to guide it we're trying to bring new materials that will actually change and transform what goes into our batteries and and basically give us more power at our fingertips well it's it's a fascinating area we'll talk more about it dan thanks for taking the time great well thanks again for having me on your show you have a nice weekend